Ubiest of the tubiest. That you. And I. 50 plus. I. Uh, ran hard today. Got my 535 mile in. It's early. I will let this window down so you can see the light out there. But it's already dark so I'd be lying to you. Okay. So. You know how I roll. I roll hard early, get her done, go to the truck stop park or wherever I'm going to park and chill. Hey, I parked at a um, Petro and this truck stop was huge. I bet they had, shit, 500 damn truck par uh, parking spots out there. I mean, it was huge. And they had a, uh, a restaurant in there and um, and it was they call it a, something skillet something I don't know but uh, you put all your food on these little old frying pan looking things for a plate but you know uh, it was actually a nice restaurant for a truck stop and uh, I normally don't do a whole lot of restaurants but um, uh, I decided to give this one a try and um, I looked at the menu, and they had, you know, ribeye steaks and shit. I'm like, yeah, uh, yeah, okay, let's do it. And the waitress talked me into doing a little buffet thing. And um, I said, well, shit, I'm going to kill a buffet. But I didn't get my money's worth. I, 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 before, I used to eat real, you know, I used to eat the chit load a lot. But... Um, you know, I was, you know, getting all porked out, so I started cutting back on my portions, and, uh, you know, when you cut back on your portion, your little belly starts shrinking, and, uh, I couldn't eat what I thought I was going to be able to eat, <laughs> so, but I still enjoyed it, it was good food, and, um, this Petro was, was, that shit, and I wish that was there. Well, I'm glad I wasn't there. I'm glad I wasn't. I take that back. I'm glad I wasn't there for 72 hours because that'd probably be, you know, 300 pounds. Um, but uh, I'm at a uh, Flying J right now. And um, some parts of the country, you get on these interstates and uh, places to park are few and far in between, man. But I don't have much of a problem because I run early. And I park early. So um, I try to find a mom and pop place so that I can park and uh, and go into the uh, mom and pop restaurant and eat breakfast in the morning. Uh, not I don't eat a whole lot of breakfast. But if I'm going to buy a meal throughout the day, it's generally going to be breakfast. And, um, but... Uh, it's a shame, you know, a lot of these uh, mom and pop cafes are closing. You know, you look at them on um, Trucker Path and they show, you know, you know, Danny's Family Restaurant and when you get over there, motherfucker been closed for, oh, shit, I said F, I'm sorry. I'm trying, I'm trying, my New Year's resolution is stop dropping so many F-bombs. I'm trying, patience, patience with me. But uh, you show up in the restaurant's clothes, man. It's, it's a shame. But um, it is what it is. Um, so, 12,000 pound axles in the drives, okay? Front axles, 12,000 pounds. 34,000 pounds on the drives. 34,000 pounds on the uh, on the tandems in the trailer. That's what you're going to legally run, okay? So I went to uh, the shipper this morning and this flower and they put 43,000 pounds of uh, flour in my trailer so I'm damn sure going to weigh that I'm not going to end up getting pulled into the scale house and be over because that shit ain't good so um, 
I, I, I've learned a little bit about the a way I'm going to start scaling from this day forward because um, the first thing you're going to do is drive onto the scale and find out where you're at. If you're good enough, you're experienced enough, you can kind of judge where the load is placed in your trader. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. You kind of judge where your load is placed in your in your trailer and then how far back they got it and then you can uh, and then look at the, the uh, bill laden and I'll tell you how much weight it is and you can almost guess at where the tandems need to be and be pretty close. I'm not there. So I drive on to the scale and I get a scale ticket and it tells you where you're weighing. Uh, so I did that, and then I said, "Well, you know, I started doing the math. How I'm gonna move it?" And the tandems have uh, they slide and they have holes. Each one of those holes should represent about 500 pounds forward or backwards, depending on where you're moving it. Okay, so I'm blinking because. I took my contact out, and um, they're, they're dailies, meaning I'm supposed to put the contact in, wear it throughout the day, and then before you go to sleep at night, take the contact out, throw it in the garbage, and the next day get another one. Um, I have a tendency to keep those contacts in for about three or four days and sleeping in them. So when, you, when I finally take them out, can't stop blinking. <clears throat> That's not good. I know it's not. I'll fix that. Maybe. Um, but let's say the tandems are in the middle of the series of holes. The further towards the rear of the trailer, the more weight you're going to put on the uh, the drives and vice versa. If you go forward towards the uh, head of the trailer, um, you know, like California style, going all the way up there, um, you're going to put more weight on the the uh, trailer tandems. Excuse me, I'm trying to get it in before I fall asleep. <clears throat> okay. Um. You also got to take a few things in consideration. Um, the position of your fifth wheel, which I hadn't moved my fifth wheel. Um, typically, you don't want to move that unless you're heavy on the steers. Um, so, you know, you can try to move some weight up there if you want by moving the fifth wheel forward to the cab. Okay. Um, that'll that'll put some weight up to the front if you're heavy in the back and you like maybe in California you can't go you can't move your tandems any further back. So there's ways you can kind of have to play with it to get it right. Once you learn the trailer, I mean the truck, it'll help you. But remember, you're always switching trailers and, and trailers are you know, what? God damn it! Every time I start talking to the YouTube folk, your ass wanna bleep. Shit. They won't leave us alone. Okay? So, first time I went on a scale, it took me where I'm at. So, um, I moved it. And I was uh, really close. So, I made a move again. Then I got back on the scale a third time and screwed it all the way up. So, I had to go the other way. And I finally got it right. So I'm going to show you my scale tickets and talk to you about what I did. Okay, here we go. Get ready. And yeah, I'm chilling. I'm laying in my bed. That's why I'm going to keep you on it because I'm too comfortable back here. Uh, let me get this set up. Then I'll involve you. I need to watch the sit ready to go. That's what I'm doing. 
Okay, here's the script. All right, this one was the first ticket. Okay, see where it says uh, steer axles? That's the front. Those are the ones, you, of course, you steer with. The drives right behind it. And then the trailer tandems. Okay, see what my gross weight is? Now, I'm good on the steers because I'm less than 12,000. I'm good with the drives because I'm less than 34, but I'm 540 pounds too heavy on the trailer. 540 pounds. So what do I need to do? I need to move the trailer tandems towards the rear because if I move them towards the rear, it's going to put the more weight on the drives, which is what I want. Okay. Let's see what I did. All right. I did it, but I moved it too much. Look, now I'm 80 pounds over on the drives because I moved the, I moved the, 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 um, the tandem's too far back. So now I need to come forward with them. So let's see what my next move is. What the hell? I went the wrong way. Ain't that crazy? I did. Now, I'm going to tell you why that happened. It's because whenever you go to pull the uh, lever to release the pins to move the tandems, uh, they may not, depending on your trailer, they may not pull right in, okay? So what you'll have to do is jerk forward, then jerk back, and then the pins release and you start sliding but when I jerked I jerked too hard and it moved for on me and I couldn't tell where I was okay so uh, my bad so I just counted the pins because I you know each time you go back through there and reweigh is two bucks and um I needed to get it right. So I did the math, counted the holes, and uh, and just kind of marked the hole with, with a with a uh, little piece of tin I found on the ground, and I scratched it, the hole. And then I found that hole, and with the math that I, you know, subtracted, you know, let's look at that. We're 960 pounds, okay? So if we... If we go three holes, we're going to take off 1,500 pounds. That ought to do it, right? So we need to go 1,500 pounds to the trailer. So that means we need to go forward three holes on the trailer. So let's see what we got. Boom. Less than 12 on the front, on the steers. And and uh, less than 34 on the drives and trailer. So we are in good shape. So ideally, ideally, if I could take, you know, 500 pounds uh, off, the, off the drives and move them to the trailer, that would be nice. Um, it would put me at 29 on the uh on the trailer i mean uh uh 32 9 on a trailer and 33 40 on the drives why would i do that is because when you're driving down the road you're going to be hitting bumps and and you can the, the load can shift and if the load shifts you want it to be able to still be covered right so you know give yourself a little leeway but that's where I ended up and that's that's a good that's a good way right there so I'm legal so I'm sure you guys are tired of watching me struggle the old man gotta go to sleep man I mean, it's god damn it's 750 I had my bedtime old folk right Man, I, I got up and ran early, so I'm my 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 I'm tired. I'm sleepy.
Okay. I had a, uh, this was a live load. Oh my God, that dock. Oh man. I don't know. I think they, they, they built, they may put buildings around this building where the, uh, where the flower company is made, where they made the flower. I don't, I can't see the way this setup was like that from the beginning. I think the and all the buildings are old, but I'm believing that was not set up that way, you know, originally. Maybe well, they put a newer building right there in front of them or something. I had to back down an alley to the goddamn what? Won't leave me alone. Shit. It was crazy. It was crazy, man. But I'm getting, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm getting much better uh, backing this truck up. All you got to do is practice, keep doing it over and over. You're going to get better. It's not, it's, it's no different than you driving your, driving a car, man. I mean, you you drive your car better. I hope you drive your car better now than you did when you first got your license, right? It's the same thing with these trucks, man. You find your way, you know. You'll, you'll fit in. You just got to give it a try. So I hope you know, we learned a little bit about what I went through with the weigh-in. So, what am I going to do? Tomorrow, um, I drop I drop this off, then I go pick up a load, and the, the I, I'm picking up at the same place. Oh my God, guys, I know, I know. It's uh, 16, almost 17 minutes right now. Listen, give me my set for 72 hours. And the load that I had in the back was shelving for Walmart. I took it to a, a, uh, a warehouse where you store it. I'm going right to the same goddamn place and pick up the same shit. And then I'm taking it to a Walmart store. I mean, another uh, another warehouse right by a Walmart store. The same stuff, man. I could have just taken it over there. What the hell wrong with them? It's crazy. But at least... Uh, it's easy to park in there and back up to the dock and they're real fast getting you loaded and unloaded, okay? I'm going over there empty after I take this flower off. I'm going to go over there empty to pick me up then I'm going to take it over to this uh, other warehouse right next to a uh, actual Walmart store. So I'm going to go into the Walmart and I'm going to go through the crafts area and I'm going to buy a, um, a red paint pen. Paint pen. Okay? Not a marker, but a paint pen. I'm going to get a red one, I'm going to get a white one. And then uh, I'm going to mark the holes. Where the pen is, red. Where I want to go, white. That way, when I move them, I'll know where, I, where I'm at when I'm sliding a tandem. So I don't end up having to do it three or four times. You know, you do the math, set it up. You shouldn't have to go in there one more time. Make sure you're good, get you a good scale tickets so when you go to the scales if, if you're if the load shifts you can say hey wait a minute you know i wait this already you know i must it must the load must shift and hopefully they'll let you make it because they saw that you wasn't purposely driving illegal they don't have to they still give you a ticket they want to but um i'm gonna paint the hole you know just make a little mark but i'm gonna use a paint pen because it'll you can it'll mark on top of dirt with a paint pen okay so anyways, I hope um, I didn't uh, I didn't put the sleep bug on you. This is on my ass. I'm fixing to let it win. Y'all have some fun. Like, subscribe, and do all that good stuff for me. Boop.